This beautiful bike right here is the Argon 18 Krypton, belongs to Stan Klanikink. Winner of many comic train sessions in Dearborn Health Center in here in Waterloo. Let's go check out his bike and analyze the winning formulas that brought him that many awesome victories. Off, a bit of organic chemistry class. The name of this bike, Argon, is actually a chemical element with an atomic number of 18. It is placed in group 18 of the periodic table and is also a noble gas. Argon is actually very abundant. It is more abundant than water vapor, carbon dioxide, as well as neon. In fact, it is the third most abundant gas on Earth. It is produced industrially by fractional distillation of liquid air and is used as a shielding gas in welding as well as fluorescent lighting. The model name Krypton is also a chemical element with an atomic number of 36. It is placed right underneath argon in the periodic table and is also a noble gas. With two chemical elements as names of this bike, this bike is actually very chemical, or another word, spectacular. Now back to the bike, there are three technologies that are quite unique on this Argon 18. First, the 3D head tube. Traditionally, we adjust the height of the head tube by adding spacers, or sometimes we chop down some sections of the steer tube. The R19 Krypton has oversized spacers and what that means is that those spacers have the same diameters as the head tube. So adding those spacers basically means to extend the height of the head tube. There's three different sizes for those spacers, 0, 10, as well as 20 millimeters. And R18 claims that using a 10 millimeter spacers can add up to 5% stiffness to the bike and the 20 millimeters can add up to 11% stiffness to the bike. The second technology implemented on this bike is called HDS or Horizontal Dual System. This whole bike is divided from the top of the top tube all the way to the rear drop part right here. So imagine there is a line that's drawn from here and everything below this line is called a power zone. And what that means is that all those elements on this on this area are designed to be laterally stiff. That includes the head tube, the down tube, part of the C tube as well as the chain stay right here. And everything above this line is called a comfort zone. And what that means is that those top tube, part of the C tube as well as the uh, C stay are designed to be more comfortable to dampen the vibration that you encounter on the road. And also they're designed to be vertically compliant. So HDS allowed this R18 Krypton to be as stiff as it needs to be, but also smooth and comfortable to ride at the same time. The third technology implemented on this bike is called AFS, or Argon Fit System Geometry. Argon designed different frame sizes with different two profiles in order to make sure no matter how tall or how short a rider is, they can feel the exact feedback uh, for this bike. The width of this top tube can be as wide as 51 millimeters, but the height increase of the head tube cannot exceed 29 millimeters. This gradually change in frame size allows people with different sizes to experience the same riding feedback as well as comfort. Finally, the dry chain system used on this bike is Shimano Altera. That includes the shifter, the 20 speed derailleur system, the crank arms as well as the brake calipers. The wheel feature on this bike is actually Mavic Cosmic Elite which only weighs 1.77 kilograms. The distance from the tip of the saddle to the handlebar is at 57 centimeters and the, set, the distance from the top of the saddle to the center of the bottom bracket is only at 76.2 centimeters. The width 
of the handlebar is 47 centimeters. With all those lightweight materials as well as components, this bike as is weighs at 19.22 pounds or 8.7 kilograms. Yep, that's an Argon 18 lightweight material for ya. So there you go, this tech heavy, beautiful looking Argon 18 Krypton. Please let me know which technology surprised you the most and also leave any comments if you have ever ridden this bike. Do remember to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe my channel for more videos that is to come. Thank you.